Hey guys, welcome back to I'll Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and I have a head cold. <laughs> so I'll probably sound a little funny. I'm sitting here on my love seat. I'm crocheting. I'm actually working on some snow globes. I gotta make... I'm making four, but I'm gonna make eight so I can double them so that they're thicker. Uh, as ornaments, I like to make ornaments every year for my family members, my direct family members. And um, one for myself, of course. <laughs> so as just gifts. So I'm working on that. I have laundry in the background. I think it's about to stop though. I don't know. But I did get quite a few questions from Vlogtober and I thought it would be fun to answer them. I was gonna crochet a chat but I ended up forgetting that part. But I do have my crochet ready. I got, um, this is a red heart. Light blue or something like that and I'm just using an H hook and the pattern that I am using is, um, I think it's Repeat Crafter Me. Yeah, it's Sarah Zimmerman Repeat Crafter Me Snow Globe pattern. And if I can remember, I'll link it below if you're interested. But like I said, it's just this. This one's done. I just have to weave in the ends. But I'm going to make two and then do front to back so that they're just thicker and, you know, they they don't curl like on the tree. I want them to be thick. And uh, I might even put like a really thin layer of stuffing in there and crochet around it just to give it like, make it squishy. <laughs> but, um... So I'm going to work on those while talking to you guys about the questions that I got. And the questions are all over the place. They're not about one particular thing. Okay, the first question. They're in no particular order. I just uh, copied them when I found them in the comment section. Uh, it's from Sushi, I think is how you say it. <laughs> Sushi. Uh, it is, if it's not too personal, are you already looking for houses to buy or is it a long-term plan? Um, that's not personal. <laughs> we aren't actually looking at houses yet. We, we've looked at a few, like, online just for the fun of it. But we're not actually, like, in the process of looking for a house. I wish we were, but we're just not there yet. And we, uh, now we may not be for a while because of all these other doctor bills that we've just acquired. But um, our, our hope is by the end of 2020, maybe start actually looking at houses. I would like to be in a house before Jesse starts kindergarten. So that would be August of 2021. 20, when you get older, when you're five, you'll go to kindergarten. You still got a year and a half to worry about that. I don't want to go kindergarten. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um. So uh, our hopes is to have a house by the end of 2020 or sometime in the early half of. 2021 because <laughs> he'll turn five in may of 2021 so he'll start kindergarten in august or no in september of 2021 <laughs> it's weird saying all these 20s and uh, the next one is from Charlie Ch cantu Charlie cantu <laughs> i don't know if i pronounced that right but let's see where's her question at? okay her question is about emma Grimmies. uh she asks what size yarn is best size four or size three so she's asking if a worsted or like a dk or a light worsted is best for amigurumi but that really depends on your preferences my preference is size four because i like amigurumi that are slightly larger and the other day i'd have a whole bunch well black hair uh this is all made with worsted weight so if this was made with a size three it would be a little bit smaller than this not a whole lot because size three is only a little bit smaller but you'd also probably use a slightly smaller hook like an e i always use elf hook and worsted weight because i like the slightly bigger m groomies and then i even have some that are with worsted weight and h hook like my hook is the witch frog pattern is made with h hook but it's really prefer personal preference if you if you like little ones like heather at uh Painted World Fiber Arts. She always makes really small amigurumi, so she uses smaller yarn and hook combinations to get the smaller ones. I like like this size, the bigger ones, so I use worsted weight and larger hooks, like an elf hook, and sometimes a G and sometimes an H, but mostly elf. Elf is like my favorite size hook. <laughs> but uh, and you can even use, you know, you can make any amigurumi pattern any size just by changing the yarn and the hooks. Like you could take this pattern and use bulky blanket yarn and a bigger hook and make a big fat elf. Um, you might have to mess with the stitches a little bit to keep so to make sure there's not big uh, gaps like in decreases but uh, yeah so it's really just personal preference 
And if you don't have an idea, you could just, you can find an easy pattern and make it in with both. And then you can figure out which one you like the most, whether you like a smaller size or a larger size. But I prefer uh, worsted and an elf hook is my favorite for Anna Groovies. Uh, the next question comes from my sister, <laughs> Hattie. She asked, um, who's your favorite sister in the world? <laughs> and that would have to be you, Hattie, because you're my only sister. <laughs> Hattie sometimes pops up in my comments commenting to me, but she also comments on other people's comments because she, she's my sister and she knows a lot about crochet through me and she knows a lot about the stuff that I do because she's my sister. So if you ever get a response from Hattie, H-A-T-T-I-E, that is my sister. So, and I'm actually thinking about making her a moderator on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook group, already on my Facebook group. But yeah, she, you know, I can trust her first of all and, um, she knows a lot about everything I do because she's my sister. Okay, the next question is from Tina W. I gotta put my stitch marker in real fast. I'm starting a new row. <laughs> and uh, she says, congratulations uh, on your new sew machine. And she asks, did you teach yourself to sew? Oh, I said show. I did. Um, let's see here. It was 2015 before I got pregnant. I bought my sewing machine. I got it for my birthday that year. Uh, technically from Devin, but you know. He paid for it, but I picked it out. So, uh, it wasn't really from Devin, I guess. But I just picked out that, the brother machine that I still have. Because I wanted to learn how to sew clothes and, you know, household things and all that. And this was before we got pregnant, so I wasn't expecting to, like, want to make baby things or nothing. And then when, later that year, when I found out I was pregnant, um, I thought I might sew, learn how to sew, like, baby stuff. But that machine that I had was like a basic machine. It wasn't one that you would quilt with. I did make some, uh, what are they called? Like pacifier clip thingies that would hook to like his outfit or something. But we never used them because he only ever used a pacifier like the first week of his life. He never really used it after that. So yeah, I did, I did teach myself to sew through, uh, YouTube mostly, YouTube videos. The sewing machine I bought came with a DVD and I watched that just so I could learn how to like thread it. I watched a lot of um, just tutorials on YouTube. I would just type in whatever I wanted to learn and it would pop it up. And that's how I learned how to make project bags and the notion pouches. And that's how I'm going to learn how to make uh, bow cozies. I already got all the stuff I need to make uh, like a microwave bow cozy. I just haven't got around to doing it yet because we've all been sick. You turned it off. I did, I have bought a few sewing books, like old books from the thrift store, and I flipped through them, but I haven't made anything from them yet, because it's, it's a little intimidating, and I'm not that good at sewing stuff closed with my hands, like, um, like if you made a stuffed animal, you'd have to make it inside out, and then when you turn it, you'd have to sew that hole shut, I haven't learned how to do that yet, but I would like to learn how to sew a lot of other things, I want to start making household stuff, like the, uh, bow cozy, I feel like I'm talking so weird because my nose is real stuffy. And I want to make the different kinds of like wall hangings for decorating for holidays. I got two Halloween ones that I got to make. I got them at thrift store and I need to make them for next fall, uh, Halloween. And there's Christmas ones and stuff. What I'm trying to say, just it keeps interrupting me, is I want to learn how to quilt eventually to make quilts. I don't, I don't know if that's like a long term goal because <laughs> I definitely don't have the time to do that now. What I do want to work on soon and what i will actually hopefully this month is do bag designs for my Etsy shop i feel like i'm talking so weird crystal crafts asked if i uh have ever sewn clothing i have made some skirts before uh in 2015 <laughs> i think i had a picture of one i can't remember but i used to love maxi skirts back when i was skinny because now that i'm not skinnier <laughs> <laughs> when I wear them, I look pregnant, so I don't really wear stuff like that anymore. But um, back then, before I had Jesse, I was I was I wasn't skinny, but I was like a size 14, so I was significantly smaller than I am now. And I didn't look pregnant in everything that I wore. <laughs> but uh, I made some really long maxi skirts back then out of like jersey material, and um, I made alterations. I made some alterations to like t-shirts and stuff, either shorten them, shortening them or closing up holes. And on Jesse's Halloween costume the last two years, he's been, he was, last year he was, um, Jason, the red 
Power Ranger. And this year he was Billy, the Blue Power Ranger. Both of them, the smallest size in kids is size small, which is four to six, but it's more close. It's closer to the six than the four. So I have to cut off length of the arms and the legs each year. <laughs> and uh, I did that. And I think I did pretty good on those because it looks like they were made that way. So um, I haven't actually made a lot of clothes, but I've always wanted to. Like if I could ever get to this, the weight that I'm happy with and uh, plan on staying that way, I'd like to make a bunch of my own clothes. The, the whole reason I don't want to make clothes or buy clothes or even crochet my own, like sweaters and stuff now, is because in my, my, in my mind, I want to lose weight. So I don't want to make something awesome and then lose weight and not be able to wear it. So uh, my, my hope is to lose weight and then make my own clothes. But I, thought, I always thought it was so cool to make like my own dresses and shirts and stuff. A lot of the styles that I love and I would wear if I had a if I was more happy with my body <laughs> is like the 50 style dresses and stuff. I would wear those like crazy. Uh, why are my underwear going down? No, they're not going down. Can you go potty? Go potty. I would, uh, would love to make stuff like that and my own costumes. <laughs> I'd love to be able, like every time I go around Halloween to stores that sell patterns. I see all the costume patterns and I just want to buy those and use them. Hey, don't do that. Okay, that's probably a copy that's probably a copyright sound. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to get copywritten by Mario people. Nintendo people. <laughs> okay. I got two more questions to answer. Oh don't hit the tripod to make it shake. Little boy the next question is from Erica Bates. Okay, she asked what other things I like to sew, and I kind of already covered that. I don't really sew a lot right now, but I do hope to sew a whole lot more in the future. And I want to start with little household type projects. Like, I want to make the bowl cozies and the tortilla warmer upper bag. And I'd like to make just different useful things. Like, I want to make a thing that goes over my chair's arm that I could put remotes and crochet stuff and stuff like that in. And just, I want to start with little projects and work my way up. And there's some little projects I want to make for craft fairs in the future. Like tor tord <laughs> cord tamers. They're just little fabric rectangles with snaps on them that you just wrap around like earphones to keep them from unraveling. I thought that would be a cute thing and a cheap thing for a craft fair to have those with like a cute little label or something. And just sell it for uh, like a few dollars and that would be a good little stocking stuffer or something to throw in someone's gift or whatever you know it'd be a good little thing <laughs> okay the last question is from charlotte and she asks if uh she has like a two-part she asks if i will ever want to do more knitting and also what i th what i think the pros and cons are of knitting versus crochet first of all uh probably no <laughs> i've tried knitting so many times since I've been crocheting, I actually knitted before I crocheted very loosely saying that because I only ever knitted like solid Mama, rectangles. I personally don't like knitting that much because all of my, all of my, um, interactions with knitting is usually negative because it's a lot harder for me to knit than crochet. I can just fly through projects crocheting because I've been doing it for 17, 18 years. Knitting is really slow to me. And I feel like it builds so much slower, like in volume. Like crochet, you know, you and it just you have a blanket in like two days. And on knitting, it's like, uh, and this is like a week into the project, and then it's just so slow because the stitches are so smaller. And uh, if I ever did learn how to knit a lot, it would be socks and sweaters because I love the way knitted socks and sweaters look. But I just don't have the patience for that. I ain't got time for that. I love making projects quickly. That's I think that's why I love amigurumis because I like to start a project and then get it done. I hate long-term projects <laughs> because that's why they're all piled up in there, not being used or worked on. Uh, I I like the satisfaction of being able to finish stuff quickly, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just love crochet. I've I've never really had a huge interest in knitting, and it's nothing against knitting. It's just I learned crochet easier than I learned knitting so I'm just sticking with it you know it's just like people who like sports you can like basketball and baseball but you could always play basketball and not really play baseball you know it's like just because you like one doesn't mean you have to like the other or just because you do one doesn't mean you hate the other you know it's just uh I prefer crochet because it's just 
what I like. <laughs> and I guess that covers the pros and cons of it too. I don't really think there are any pros and cons except the major pro and con to me is knitting seam is so slow compared to crochet. And that just, I hate working on something knitted and you, you work on it for like two hours and it's this big. And if I work on the same type of project, like if I work on a scarf in crochet for knitting, if it's not like chunky, it takes forever. But I can make like two or three of them in two hours crochet, even with like worsted weight yarn because it's just so much faster. But that's just personally for me. And I'm sure there's knitters out there who say the same thing about crochet. But I think it's just because I took off with crochet, learning it quickly and was super interested in it. And I just didn't do that with knitting. Um... But yeah, so I, I'm not going to say for sure because who knows, in the future I might cro or knit. <laughs> I don't know. I just have no interest in it right now. All right, so that's all the questions I got during Vlogtober after I asked about questions. Jesse's right over here on the big couch um, playing a game. But I got his game turned down, so you might hear him every now and then. He is recovering from an allergic reaction, and we're in the process of figuring out what he's allergic to. Um, that's why I got laundry going is because no, we're washing. I'm to shoot this guy. Okay. We're washing all of our beddings and his little blanket that he carries around with him. We're rewashing clothes and stuff because I'm trying to figure out what it is that's irritating him and uh, hopefully get rid of it. <laughs> I'm going to answer the one question I've been getting a little bit is, you know, like, where are we and are we okay and all that because I've had a few people ask that because I've been MIA a little bit since around Halloween. But it's because Jesse started getting sick on the day before Halloween. He started running a fever a lot. He was already sick the week before that. Uh, but that kind of went away and then when this came back, I thought it was from that Like coming back, but he had a fever on and off from Halloween Eve all the way through um, Saturday night this Saturday night. He didn't even get to go trick-or-treating. He, he didn't want to and it was really cold and wet and um, it, it spit snow a little bit here, but it was mostly just wet and cold That's one reason I didn't want to take him trick-or-treating <laughs> is because it was wet and cold I could handle snow and cold, but with it actually raining and being really cold, I didn't want him in there, out there to get sicker, or me, but it looked like I got sick anyways, <laughs> because he did go to my mom's, um, Halloween day, and he stayed with her for a few days, because he was sick, and he didn't want to go Halloween, but I still had to take the girl that I babysit, because I already said I would, so it did stop raining, it was just really cold, <laughs> and we went trick-or-treating all that, and that's probably why I have a head cold right now, but, um, he... Let's see here. We, we got him home Saturday, and he was fine Saturday, and then Saturday night, you know, he took a bath and went to bed, and Sunday morning, early hours, it was right as time was changing, because it was two something, it was two, and then two something again, because the time changed, but, um, he woke up, and I gave him some more Tylenol, because he was really hot, and uh, I was just going to go back to bed, but then he said he needed to go potty, so we took him into the bathroom, and that's when we saw he had a rash all over his body. A really bad rash. And even his mouth, his lip, his upper lip was like really swollen. And, um, you know, it was 2 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So we couldn't go to the doctor. So we, uh, because we were afraid it was some kind of allergic reaction that might stop him from breathing. We went to the emergency room. And we were there for about an hour and a half, which is pretty good for the emergency room. They treated him with steroids and um, Benadryl. And after a while of being there, his the rash went, it calmed down a whole lot, and he was fine. So we went home and uh, went to bed. And the next morning, uh, Sunday, it was actual Sunday, you know, not just the morning hours, but Sunday during the daytime, <laughs> when we got up, he was fine. Um, we went on a trip to Nashville, and we, we did some shopping there, and had fun. We went to Build-A-Bear, and he got him a, uh, a toothless dragon oh made there. And on the way home, everything was fine. But by the time we got home, it was dark because it, you know, time changed. So it was like 5:30 when we pulled into our apartment. And uh, when I turned off the car and opened the door, the light came on, you know. And Devin saw Jesse's face, and it was broken out again. So we came inside, and uh, his mouth wasn't swollen anymore. Or uh, this time, it was just all over his body, and it was way worse. And if I can think about it, I'll insert a couple of pictures that I took. Uh, they might be weird looking because I will be cropping out Jesse's body parts <laughs> uh, that don't need to be shown but it was just really bad uh, allergic reaction reaction rash it wasn't like um, the kind of rash you get when you have strep throat and it's not like head foot mouth or anything like that uh, because I've had experience with all that and I kind of know what that stuff looks like <laughs> we had head foot mouth I think last year 
or 2017. Me and, and Jesse both got it. And supposedly, grown-ups aren't supposed to get that, but I got it, and I got it bad. Anyways, um, so we gave him his steroids, because they tell us to give it to him at night anyways, and some more Benadryl. And about two hours later, it cleared up pretty good. And so we went to bed, <laughs> and then this morning, Monday morning early, uh, we woke up and it was like that again. He had broken out again all over his whole body, and um, I didn't want to just treat him with more medicine because I wanted, I didn't, when we went to the doctor, I was going to try to get him in today. Um, I wanted it to be there so they could see it. I didn't want to treat him this morning and it go away and then they're not, know what I'm talking about. So, uh, me and him just sat in the living room for about an hour before it was time to wake Devin up and I had called and made him an appointment and I luckily got in today at 11. And so after Devin got up, we all got ready and we went and took him to the doctor. <laughs> and, um, they, they agreed that it's an allergic reaction rash and there's really no way of knowing what caused it without going to an allergy doctor. And, um, so they, they told me to keep using the steroids and the Benadryl and they also told me to get some Zyrtec, which we did. And he, I gave him some of that a little while ago. And, um, do like oatmeal baths and stuff. And, uh, treat it for a Why couple more days. Why did this just make stuff? I don't know. They want us to treat it for a few more days to see if it goes away, uh, for good. You know, like, runs its course or whatever. And that's why I'm doing all the laundry, just in case there's something that he came in contact with that's irritating him. And we haven't changed any of our laundry stuff, our body stuff, anything like that. I can't think of anything. The only two things that's different than what it was is I have a, it's like a sensory thingy, but it's a Walmart brand, you know, wax melter thing that I have a wax melt in that I've been melting <laughs> the last few days. And also I did start putting vinegar in our laundry. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be good for the laundry, freshness and stuff. And so I don't know if it's that maybe. But I'm going to stop with the vinegar and I'm not going to use the wax melt for a while to see if that helps along with washing everything. But they said that if we treat it and it goes away but then comes back in like 48 hours that we need to go back. We'll be going back to the doctor to get referred to an allergy doctor and he'll have to go and get all those allergy tests. I remember getting those when I was a kid where they like poke your back a thousand times to um, test you for all kinds of stuff. So I'm hoping that whatever it was that he's allergic to is getting cleaned off or is gone. He hasn't had any new foods. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. And then on top of that, I got a head cold, which is, I'm thinking it's from Halloween because when me and Kat first started trigger treating, it was still kind of drizzly and cold. It was in the thirties and every now and then it would spit snow, but it was mostly wet. <laughs> and, uh, but it was only like that for like 20 minutes and then it cleared up really good. That Halloween night was really clear. It was just really cold. And we stayed out for a couple hours trigger treating with her. I say we, but it was just me and her. Because Devin was at work and Jesse was at my mom's. But uh, it could be something at my mom's that he came in contact with. You know, we don't know. We just have to hope that it goes away. And if it doesn't, we'll have to go to an allergy doctor. But that's answering that question. <laughs> and I might actually put this at the end. So if you have any other questions uh, about our personal life or crochet stuff or anything like that, I will try to answer them in another video coming up. I meant for this to be a crocheting chat, but this pattern, I needed to focus on it a little bit more because I was missing increases. But um, this is over here now. So I'm going to hop off here and try to get this video up today and hope it's not too bad because I'm so congested and stuff. But hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> Jesse's right here. And I'm going to turn this off now and crochet some snow globes and hang out with my baby. You want to pop your head in there for a second? Oop, there you are. <laughs> He's got a rash all over him. He looks better though now than he did earlier because I gave him some allergy medicine and he looks better. But I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be late this week. I am going to be putting out a No Kitchen Name episode this week if him and I are okay. And there's a couple other videos that I'm wanting to film and get out for you guys. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Bye guys.